How did this experience impact, shape, change, and or challenge your understanding of authorship and ownership? It was just something in the air that lended itself to this theme of revolution. Uh, you had Anonymous doing stuff. Um, in the first week after I moved to South Carolina, uh, that's when Ferguson happened. Um, so there was that idea. And I think in a lot of ways, Ferguson was one flashpoint where we saw old methods being revolutionized by new methods. So you had protesters on the street, which is an old method, but as they were being gassed by police, you also had people from the Middle East and Egypt and other places that had just gone through this kind of violence, uh, giving them tips on what to do. What to do if you're tear gassed? Here's how you build a, a DIY gas mask. Um, so there was a lot of that in the air, and I think, uh, it demanded a response. But for me, there was one particular moment early on in creating the first take of the video where I wanted to use a song that got stuck in my head because it's talking about uh, the post 9-11 world and you know this constant cycle of violence that is also talked about in the video. And it was copyrighted, and it was copyrighted, I think, by Sony. Uh, and I'm not sure I can even say Sony on video without having to pay them money. Uh, but that was never going to happen. We were not going to be able to use that. And so I had to find a song that matched that, had the same message, the same feel. I don't know that I actually did that. Um, but looking at that first take of the video, you can clearly see, if you listen to the song, that it's influenced by that song. and. Yeah, not being able to use it, not being able to take what somebody else did and then build on it and make it something that would apply to what I'm doing, I think was uh, detrimental to the process. Like, it definitely had an impact. It's a little interesting teaching freshman composition these days, uh, especially when we add digital media into the mix because in a lot of ways, the internet doesn't really care about copyright as much as the rest of the world seems to. Um, and it's only when you enter those structures of power and ownership that you have to start thinking about, you know, somebody can sue me because I use their image, or this video that I spent hours working on and put on YouTube can be taken down by a corporation because I used their image without permission, and then suddenly that work is down the drain. And one, I think that's a, that's a problem for students getting out there in the world who want to get their ideas out. Uh, but I also think that as we keep going forward, as new media takes hold, and as people get used to navigating it, that this is just going to become second nature at some level. People learn how to get around the things that hinder them, and, you know, the it's just the way the world works. It's not so much a revolution anymore as it is just trying to find a way in an, ex an existing system. And you can take that however you want for good or for bad.